Australia's got enough raw materials, right? But we haven't got a processing capacity. Yeah. There's a few companies working on it. They're going to become quite important, I think. Now, it doesn't mean you race in and buy their shares and make a bucket load, but it's something that you it's something that you keep what a watch on because again, this is a sort of canary in the coal mine. Mm. Right, because if China has already done this in, I think two eleven, they said we're going to stop exporting it, and the Japanese freaked out because we've all been sitting here going, "Oh, this is cool. The Chinese will just keep sending it." Right mm-hmm. now, the other thing is too, this stuff is absolutely critical for military hardware. Yeah, which right? is going to be. It's no good having a missile if you haven't got any neodymium. So yeah. you really need to have some neodymium. I.e., yeah. right, we really need to, you know, process. And with the amount of spending going into bullets, bombs, m- military. Absolutely. Then there's going to be a much, uh, there's going to be a more more of a need for those critical min- minerals as well. Absolutely. So this is where I think you get things like government saying, and, and Albo's been doing a critical mineral strategy, right? Mm. And this is where you're getting again, you, you're getting this creeping, this creeping government intervention into the economy saying, we want you to. We need you to develop that mine. Mm. Oh well, it's going to take us a ten-year environmental process. Uh, you let us look after that, mm. right? You just you just keep advancing the mine, and we'll take care of the environmental politics of it, right? Because you're going to have the greenies out there, you know, like oh, there's mm. all this toxicity, right? And the government's going to be going, yeah, just shut up because we need to build bombs, mm. <laughs> right? Mm. It it really is going to be like that. 